I'm sorry, I, I, a little bit extended. So my presentation, uh, my name is Ogawa from Tokyo University of Japan, and my talk is very easy, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, my presentation title is the development of 60 gigahertz near field RSS. Uh, that is uh, engineering study. So uh, in this presentation, I will talk about the concept of our sensor development, and uh, I want to show some uh, preliminary experiment data. So let's think about the conventional cell research. Uh, this is a, a fluorescent microscope image. You know that this technology is very nice. So, uh, all the, oh, many research are reviewing the uh, dynamics of molecule inside the cell. So, uh, now we are, uh, so such a researcher could uh, make uh, such a map. Uh, but uh, every time uh, they have to focus on the uh, fluorescent substance inside the cell. Let's think about our body. As you know, our body consists of a lot of water, so uh, that molecular size is just 18. Molecular weight is just 18. So, yeah, around 70 weight percent is water, means that water molecule is a super majority material in our body. And, uh, yeah, previous uh, presentation uh, said uh, uh, terahertz wave. In terahertz wave region, there is a lot of information about the water. So my question, I think uh, can terahertz wave well contribute to uh, life understanding through water? So let's think about the meaning of observation of interstellar water. Until now, so I'm, as I mentioned, a lot of research uh, reviewed the uh, um, dynamics. Uh, yeah, they are checking uh, such a small organ inside the cell. And uh, uh, yeah. That is a very nice work, but uh, uh, they don't see the water, surrounding water. No one knows that, that world. But uh, I think uh, this is very important. So, for example, uh, it has an uh, important, important role uh, as a reaction field of molecules. So, in the future, if we can understand the uh, dynamics of water molecules inside the cell, I think at that time, this is the uh, this is a, uh, first time to uh, first time we had observed uh, most molecules inside cell because this is cell overall. This is cell. so I have to explain the about this water, but uh, I'll skip the detail. I'll skip this slide. You already know. So yeah. Interstellar water. I think uh, this region is an unexplored research field. So, and uh, you already know, terahertz wave have a potential to reveal this uh, bulk water inside the water. I think. But uh, uh, until now, so no rep few report of interstellar bulk water in the world. But uh, I think. Terahertz technology and the biomedical application good uh, combination, I think. However, uh, terahertz technology has uh, some problem. Every time our uh, spectrometer is very big, and we need a complex analytical method to understand the water dynamics. So, uh, life scientists and the biological medical researcher cannot use this technology. Uh, this is a commercialized, a commercialized uh, product, uh, commercialized product uh, spectrometer. This uh, display size is uh, uh, 21 inch or so, so you can uh, think the uh, size of this spectrometer. So, uh, but uh, to open up the bioapplication in this in terahertz region, we need the evidence. But uh, uh, such a biological sample, IPS, uh, ESL, clinical specimen, such an important uh, biosample are always outside terahertz laboratory. So we have to develop the uh, portable terahertz sensor. 
<coughs> so for now, I'll talk about uh, our sensors. First, uh, pre briefly, I want to explain the <coughs> uh, principle of our sensor. A uh, sensor consists of uh, such an element. This is one element. It, uh, it has uh, uh, such a oscillator and the uh, passivation here to protect the electric circuit. This oscillator can work, uh, can oscillate, can generate at the 60 gigahertz uh, frequency in the air. When we add the sample directly, because of the difference of the electric constant, uh, this frequency is shifted like this. So that means uh, uh, when we measure this delta f, we can estimate uh, this value. Why we use uh, uh, 60 gigahertz? Dr. Shiraga mentioned that uh, uh, this is a peak. Uh, this is a direct constant of a solution, imaginary part. Uh, this peak is coming from the realization mode of water. And uh, this peak is a uh, uh, binding water peak. And this peak is at, uh, located at uh, 20 gigahertz, 60 gigahertz here. When we add uh, some solute in this solution to control the, uh, to increase the concentration of solution, bulk water, the number of bulk water has decreased and the binding water has increased. So this slope is very sensitive to such a uh, changing. So we developed the uh, uh, 60 gigahertz oscillator. And to evaluate this, uh, we take uh, such a uh, figure, such a data. This axis is a frequency error, uh, and the y axis, in, uh, x axis is a gating time. So gating time yeah, is a certain term of a uh, uh, semiconductive device. So that, that is uh, like a get, uh, accumulating time. So increasing the uh, gating time, this error become decreased and saturated. So from this uh, figure, we can understand the characteristics of our sensor, our element. Uh, this resolution have a 0.33 megahertz, 330 kilohertz at the 200 microsecond gate time. Thanks to uh, uh, CMOS technology, manufacturing uh, uh, semiconductor semiconductive device, uh, we arranged, uh, we mounted the each element on three millimeter square substrate. So that means that this is a, a, a 60 gigahertz array. We mounted uh, each element. The number is, uh, element number is 1,488 elements. And one element has uh, such a size, uh, around uh, 5 micron times 50 micrometer. This size is uh, almost the same as a uh, uh, single cell. Then, uh, when, this is uh, just a uh, demonstration. When we, uh, when we put an, our figure uh, on our sensor, we can get uh, such a uh, fingerprint pattern. But uh, don't forget, this image is a 60 gigahertz image. So uh, that wave number is a 5 millimeter. When we make an imaging system to take an image at the free space using a uh, uh, 60 gigahertz light source, I think uh, it is difficult to take uh, such a precise uh, high resolution image because of the diffraction limit. So uh, in this case, uh, the resolution, spatial resolution, is determined by the element, sensor element spacing. And uh, one element needs a uh, uh, 200 microsecond to take a data. That means uh, uh, when we take uh, one image, we need uh, below <coughs> 0 0.5 microsecond. Very easy to take uh, such a fingerprint pattern. But our target is this one. Our target is not this one. 
then the two uh, two thing uh, two major the uh, data to to take uh, to analyze the data. Usually we use a histogram. Uh, this case, this is a, a three data. Uh, this data is a liquid sample. Uh, this is a glycine and the water at the 23 degrees Celsius, the much uh, hotter water. So uh, output data from our sensor is a frequency shift of each element. Then we make a, such a histogram. So you know the glycine Dielectric constant of the glycine is smaller than the water, so frequency shift is very small. And uh, uh, higher, highest, uh, higher water, high temperature water, uh, much higher, uh, much higher uh, dielectric constant at 60 gigahertz. So yeah, this uh, result is very uh, acceptable, so um, understandable. So from this experiment, we could confirm the frequency shift according to the dielectric constant different. Then our sensor is very small, so we can bring out, bring it out to the other laboratories. This sensor chip is very small. Then uh, controller also very small, and we need a computer. That's all. So uh, when we take um, uh, this is a brain of mouse on our sensor. Yes. That, to to conduct to to conduct uh, such a uh, to conduct uh, such an experiment, we can bring out bring it out to the uh, uh, our uh, other laboratories. This demonstration is other. Uh, this is the culture of hero cell on this sensor. After pre treatment, uh, we culture then. Uh, we take, uh, we compare the uh, different technologies. This is our result. But uh, uh, from this video, we cannot see the, but so we prepare, uh, we make uh, such a uh, histogram based on the, such an image. Uh, this blue bar is a uh, uh, medium. Then we uh, put on the medium on the, uh, put the medium on the, uh, sensor we just take, then we got the, such a uh, bar, and this peak is coming from the here in medium. So yeah, uh, from the terahertz spectrum, uh, it is supported uh, by the terahertz spectrum. Uh, this relationship is okay. Then I'm interested in this width. So actually, this width is coming from the variation of sensor. So media, uh, like a liquid sample, is uniform. But uh, every time we can observe this one, because uh, uh, each sensor has a, a little bit different characteristics. So every time uh, it has uh, such a uh, widths. But uh, cell is, the widths of cell is much wider. It is very interesting. Maybe it has uh, such a information. And uh, finally, uh, I want to show the real sample. Yeah, after uh, accepted from the medical ethic board, we got uh, such an experiment. This is a cancer, and this is a CA. This is a, uh, usually this, we can think uh, this is a normal cell. So important thing, uh, when we take uh, these samples, uh, we get from the one patient and one tissue. From these tissues, we get uh, two types of cancer. When we uh, we do evaluate to compare both by using our sensors, uh, that the characteristic is a little bit different. So uh, culture condition might a little bit change, but uh, uh, we choose uh, uh, such a normal uh, root condition part. Then we make uh, such a histogram. Uh, from this result, uh, yeah, our sensor work well to uh, distinguish uh, different uh, cells. But the important thing, uh, this sensor, uh, have, uh, every time this our sensor uh, need to have uh, need to think about the influence of the cell size and the density. 
We cannot keep control of that point. So, uh, and uh, so from this experiment, we cannot say the relationship between the distance and the uh, director constant, unfortunately. But uh, in the future, uh, now we are considering that uh, we are measuring a single cell. Single cell is much easier to understand the uh, relationship direct to constant and the uh, frequency shift. So now I'm considering. Okay, uh, I've summarized my talk in this presentation. I will introduce such a specification sensors. Uh, if you are interested in, uh, please contact me. And, uh, I also thanks to the such collaborators, uh, Shoujiro Kikuchi, he's a medical doctor, and uh, Keichiro Shirara is uh, ah, here. <laughs> then uh, he also uh, he also uh, working at Arikin. Uh, actually, he's uh, Shiraga's boss, Dr. Shiraga's boss, and uh, he is a specialist of uh, uh, skin science. And now uh, this uh, develop, uh, this uh, sensor is developed by uh, Sharp. That's all. Thank you very much. So, yeah, time, time is not so <laughs> enough, so do you have any questions or something? Please, please. Thank you very much. I, I like very much your slide about cell uh, with uh, color and, and water color. I think this is exactly what Dr. Tony said. So, if we understand the water in the cell, we will understand what's about life, maybe. Um, and my question is, I uh, just 60 gigahertz is the frequency that you use. Now, do you know what exactly what you are looking at with 60 gigahertz? You have to be water. Yeah, because it is, I mean, it was a broadband in the terahertz. And we choose 60 gigahertz as a phase transition kind of. Uh, this, uh, this peak is coming from the relaxation model. So, uh, now, uh, to explain this, uh, uh, I talked, uh, uh, when we had uh, some solute uh, binding water, make a peak, so, but uh, uh, free water becomes deep with this. Oh, okay. So, because you showed the very clear difference between cancer and yes, cancer cells. Uh, so, which means that this particular, particular water exists and does not exist in respect to the cancer cells. In the yes, yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. Maybe a stupid question, but what, can you measure also just water with this type of thing? Is it also possible to just measure water without it being in a biological system? No, I'm measuring the uh, cell. Yeah. But uh, uh, in this region, uh, so water is very sensitive compared to the other molecules. So, uh, briefly, I'm thinking that uh, now I'm, check, I'm measuring just the water, water dynamics. So that means uh, uh, how much water is relaxing, uh, moving uh, uh, free, water, so free water, by the water. So, uh, uh, now I'm thinking uh, just uh, uh, changing. So, um, so, if there is some um, protein, some kind of protein is uh, generated and uh, make made a lot of protein. That protein also bind have a binding water. So bulk water, the amount of bulk water will decrease. So briefly I am uh, watching such a dynamic side. Okay. So time is coming. Uh, <laughs> uh,